Hello, my name's Kerry. Welcome to Aspire to Soar. Today, I wanted to do a video just to show you a small, basic tapping routine that you can use on yourself at home for any problems that you want to have a go with. So the first thing we have to do is identify the problem we want to work on. So for this testing session, we'll say we've got a headache. Now, the first thing you want to do is to think about your headache and imagine you can grade your headache on a scale of one to 10 with one being, you know, one to zero being not a problem, 10 being the worst it could possibly be. Now grade your headache on where you think it falls within that scale. So we'll say our headaches are an eight. The next thing you need to do is to think about that headache and how it feels. So what type of headache is it that you've got? Is it a, a throbbing headache? Is it a sharp pain in your head? Where does it come from? Is it coming from your neck or is it actually in your head? So for the purposes of this, we'll say we've got a, a throbbing ache in our head at the front of our head um, that we've had for a couple of hours, okay? So what we do first is we put together our setup statement. Now we use the karate chop point that I demonstrated in the previous video. So if you haven't had a look at that, have a look at that first because that shows you the points that we're going to use to tap on throughout this demonstration. I'll put that down below, you can have a look at that. So we tap on the karate chop point. And while we're tapping, we say a statement. Now this statement is going to describe our problem. So even though I have this headache, this throbbing pain in the front of my head that's been there for hours, I completely and deeply accept myself. Now we do this statement three times. So even though I have this throbbing headache in the front of my head, I completely and deeply accept myself. I'll keep tapping, even though I have this headache, it's a throbbing pain right at the front of my head. It's been there for hours. I choose to completely and deeply accept myself. Once you've done that three times, then we're going to move on to the other points. And we're just going to use a couple of the words from our setup statement to remind us what the problem is as we tap. So this headache. This throbbing headache, side of your eye, this throbbing headache at the front of my head, underneath your eye, this headache, this throbbing pain in the front of my head, this throbbing headache in the front of my head, this headache that's causing me so much pain. This headache, this throbbing headache in the front of my head. This headache. And then we'll go through again using the same process. This headache. This throbbing headache. This throbbing headache in the front of my head. This headache is so painful. It's been there for hours. This headache, this throbbing headache, it's been there for hours, right in the front of my head. This throbbing headache, this throbbing headache that I have had for hours. This throbbing headache in the front of my head. This throbbing headache. Now we've been through that procedure twice. Now you need to think about your headache again. Really tune into it. Is it still an eight? Is it more than an eight? Is it less than an eight? If it's less than an eight, where is it now? Is it a six or a five? So we find out where it is again. So I'm going to say, oh, my headache's actually gone down now. It's gone down to about a five. Okay, so now we can tap again. Is the pain still the same? Well, actually, it's a bit less now and it's moved to the side of my head. Okay, let's tap on that. So then we go back to the side of our hand and we do a new setup statement. Even though 
I still have some of this headache. This throbbing headache is now in the side of my head, but I choose to completely and deeply accept myself. Even though I still have some of this headache, it's a throbbing headache at the side of my head. I choose to completely and deeply accept myself. Even though I still have some of this headache, this throbbing headache, it's in the side of my head. It's been there for hours. I choose to completely and deeply accept myself. I'm back to the top of your head again. This, some of this headache, I still have some of this headache. Some of this throbbing headache, I still have some of this throbbing headache. It's in the side of my head. This throbbing headache, I still have some of this throbbing headache. This throbbing headache. It's been there for hours, this throbbing headache. It's right in the side of my head, this headache. This throbbing headache, I've had it for hours. I can't get rid of it. So painful, it's right in the side of my head. This throbbing headache. This throbbing headache. And we go through again, this throbbing headache in the side of my head. This throbbing headache in the side of my head. This throbbing headache in the side of my head. This throbbing headache in the side of my head. It is so painful. It won't go away. It's been there for hours. It's in the side of my head. This throbbing pain in my head. This throbbing pain in my head, this headache, it won't go away. Okay, now take a big, big, big deep breath and blow it away. And now is the time to reassess where you are with the pain of the headache again. So we started as a five, so we started as an eight originally, then it dropped down to a five. Where are we now? Is it gone up? Has it gone up again? Is it more? Or is it less? If it's less, or if it's more, where is it? What number is it? So we'll say, oh, my headache's nearly gone now. It's gone down to a three. What does it feel like now? Is it still throbbing? Maybe it's more of an ache. Maybe it's more of a dull ache now in the side of my head. I can still feel it, and it's still there, and it's still bothering me. So we'll tap again. Even though I have a little bit of this headache left, it's in the side of my head and it's like a dull pain, a dull ache. I still choose to completely and deeply accept myself, even though I've got a little bit of this headache left. It's in the side of my head and it's like a dull ache. I still choose to completely and deeply accept myself, even though I still have a little bit of this headache left. It's like a dull ache now in the side of my head. I choose to completely and deeply accept myself. This headache, this dull ache in the side of my head, I've still got a little bit of it. I still have a little bit of this headache in the side of my head, like a dull ache, is annoying. This annoying dull ache in the side of my head. Side of my head, I've got this dull ache from this headache. This dull ache in the side of my head. From this headache. And it's annoying. It can go now. I don't need it anymore. This dull ache. And then once more, this dull ache in the side of my head. This dull ache. It's annoying. It can leave now. I don't need it anymore. This headache. It's just such a dull ache now in the side of my head. 
It's annoying. It can leave now. This headache. In the side of my head. It's a dull ache. It can leave now. This dull ache in the side of my head. This headache. This dull ache in the side of my head. Okay, and then take another big deep breath in and blow it away. And then we reassess again. So think about the headache. Is it still there? How bad is it? Where would you rate it on a zero to 10? If it's still there, has something caused that headache? So if I'm still saying, well, yeah, but it's a four still and it's not going after three rounds. Where did the headache come from? Why did it start? What caused it? Was there something happening around the time that I got that headache? So maybe you had an argument with your partner. So, oh yeah, I remember now. I've got this headache after I had that argument about not doing the washing up after we'd eaten breakfast. Right, so how does that feel to me, that problem? Yeah, I feel really upset about that still. Hmm, where would I grade that problem on a zero to 10 scale? Gosh, probably about a six. I'm still pretty upset about that. Then we would tap on that part of the problem again, even though I had this argument with my partner at breakfast and it's really upset me because I was right and they were wrong and it made me cross that they couldn't see my point of view. And I still feel cross about it. And now I've got this headache. I still choose to completely and deeply accept myself. So again, we would do that three times and then you would work through the points on your body with your reminder phrase. So this argument with my partner about breakfast and you would tap through again twice and then see where you sit for that problem. If that extinguishes that problem down to anything underneath a two, that's brilliant. And then you can check back in with your headache again. How's the headache now? Has it gone completely? Is it still there? And assess again. And by doing this, you keep working and working through the problems until you come to a point where you don't have your headache anymore. It's gone and you've cleared so much other stuff around that headache as well. So that's the way the basic premise of EFT works. So if you have a physical problem, you can deal with the physical problem, but if it's not moving and it's not going, then you need to look at the emotional side of it. Has something caused that? Did something start it? Did it occur around the same time as something else happened? And then you can work through it from there. I hope that's been helpful. I will do more videos on EFT for a range of problems as well. But for now, I hope that's really helped. Bye bye.